Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing my first holiday makeup look of the season. I don't even really think I'm ready to talk holidays yet, which is why I chose to do a really easy, quick, simple makeup look to kind of ease into things. And I am also trying out, excuse me as I try to grab every single product that I possibly can. I am trying out the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid makeup collection that just launched. So if you guys wanna see, my take on those products and my step-by-step -step tutorial of this look. Keep on watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you guys are new. I post new videos here every week and turn on that bell notification so you stay updated on when I post these videos. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I just turned off my Christmas music. I'm trying to get myself in the mood over here. All right, I'm gonna start by prepping my skin using this Kiehl's Holiday Skincare Set. I have the one called Daytime Essentials. It has one of my fave moisturizers in it. I'll get to that in a second, but I'm gonna start off with the Daily Reviving Concentrate. Look how cute! It's supposed to be, hold on one second, it says use two to three drops. I'm gonna use four, <laughs> maybe five. It's supposed to be a lightweight, quickly absorbed facial concentrate, so like a facial oil, that helps to visibly correct the signs of daily skin fatigue, improving the look of dullness, lines, and rough texture. And now I'm gonna go in with my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. You guys already know I love this stuff. I pretty much use it before every single makeup that I do. So the reason why I love this one so much is because it's a moisturizer that's super hydrating but doesn't feel greasy on the skin and I like how my makeup wears over top. A little bit on the neck as well. Oh, I got it on my vest. Oh no, oh no. There we go, we're good, we're good. All right, I'll let that sink into the skin and I'll apply one more product from the kit and that is the Butter Stick Lip Care. It has coconut oil and lemon butter in it. That sounds luxurious. Oh, I like it, it's like a little lipstick. So I showed you three of the five products that you get in this kit. The other two are the Ultra Facial Cleanser and the Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. I am so excited about this one because I've wanted to try this mask for a while now. I've just been really into masks lately because I noticed they're actually making a difference on my skin. This one is to invigorate and brighten your skin's appearance, but the reason why I wanted to try it is because it has turmeric in it, and I've heard for years and years and years that turmeric is just supposed to be all around great for your skin, really good for brightening. Maybe I'll try it out with you guys on Insta Stories, so make sure you guys are following my Instagram. I'll put a box right here with my username, it's at Trina Dura. But again, all of these products are from the Daytime Essentials Kit, and I know this year Kiehl's came out with a ton of different holiday skincare sets, so if you wanna see all of those different options, I'll leave a link to their website in my description box if you guys wanna check it out. Maybe you want to gift somebody one of these sets, maybe you just want one for yourself treat yourself check the details below and now let's move on to makeup I'm gonna start off with the primer so I have two different options here I have the light medium and the medium deep there's a look at the light medium I definitely think that will be good for my skin tone oh yeah definitely the right color choice it says, Gigi shares her secret weapon for her perfected, freshly contoured face. Use a tinted primer that's at least two shades darker than your foundation. So this is definitely darker than my skin tone, so I think the other one would probably be a little bit too dark. And now there's no foundation from the line, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my fave at the moment, which is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte. You guys already know. Oh, by the way, look at what decided to come out today. This little blemish right here. Perfect. All right, got my foundation and my concealer on, and now I'm gonna go in with one of the liquid strobes. So there's two. There's one that is iridescent, and this is for somebody with a cooler undertone, it says. And then for somebody with a warm undertone, there is gold. Oh yeah, this is definitely me right here. I love gold. Oh gosh, thumbs up if you guys know what that's from. So I'm just gonna do a dot 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 right there and use my sponge to blend that out. I hope you guys can see that glow because I can but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. 
It's like a very subtle glow, not too overdone, which I like, and it's really easy to blend out. Now I'm just gonna lightly, ever so lightly, dust a little bit of powder over the face to make sure everything is set. So because this is a holiday makeup look, I felt it was only appropriate to do a red lip. And when I'm doing red or like a really bold lip, I like to do that first and then do the rest of the makeup because then I can kind of see where the look's going. So from the line, I actually received four lipsticks in the mail. And even though I'm gonna do one of these reds, I thought I would do some swatches for you. So I already started with this one, which is called called Erin. And then we have a nude, which is called McCall. I'm actually really mad I can't do a, a nude for this look because I love nudes. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful color. Then we have Lonnie, which is one of the reds. Oh my gosh. By the way, can we just talk about how smooth these are going on and how much pigment is in one swipe? This is amazing. And the other red is called Care. This is how you spell it. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Oh my goodness. I really like this one. Yep, doing it. We're doing this one. It is gorgeous. Ooh, this is perfect. This color screams holiday makeup look. But I do apologize if you see red lipstick on my teeth at any moment during this tutorial what happens with red but honestly like I don't even want to do anything else just put on some mascara you're good to go <gasps> I'm joking but not really now for shadow I have two palettes to choose from one again is more cool tones some light champagne some purpley mauve tones uh, like a dark gray and then for the warms you have your gold so a gold champagne some peaches this looks to be like a at first I thought it was a brown, but it looks like it's a purpley brown. I'm not sure how I feel about that just yet. I always go for the warm tones, honestly, just because I think they look better on my skin tone. And I was gonna try and switch it up today with like the cooler palette, but honestly, I think the golds in here are gonna go a lot better with my red lip. And I also have two eyeshadow brushes. I thought this was kind of cool that they added this to the line. The first one is like an angled eyeshadow brush and the other one is called the eye contour brush. So let's give these a whirl. I'm gonna start off with this gold. Ooh, it's picking up a lot. And I'm gonna pop that on the center of the lid. It's like a bronzy gold. So that gold that I used was called Summerland and now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is called Pacific Coast Highway. And I'm just gonna lightly apply this to my crease. This brush would actually make a really good cut crease brush because it's very chiseled. And now I'm gonna take that first shadow brush and apply Blondie, which is this guy right here, over top of the gold. I just kinda wanna make the lid pop a little bit more. Now I know this is looking like a super basic guy, so I'm gonna try and just dress it up a little bit. I'm just using more of that crease color and just chiseling it out a little bit more. One thing that I really dislike about these palettes though is there's no mirror. So I'm like, I, go, I keep going to do this and there's no mirror. So I've just really been building up that darker shade on the outer edges, kind of making it a little bit more smoky. And now I'm gonna go in with a liner. So there is one liquid liner in this collection. And look at how sharp the tip of that looks. Ooh, super black and it goes on so smoothly because there's no edges that are gonna fray. So they came out with this fiber mascara and it has this fancy holographic packaging to it, which I really like. And I've been intrigued about this because it says Gigi's favorite mascara formula from Maybelline Japan that is now available worldwide and it is a dual ended product with let me see yes the fiber tip on one side so you apply this first it's white this is very dry like there's no liquid texture at all okay somebody has to tell me if this is correct because I thought it was gonna be like a liquid like a like a lash primer but this is completely dry it's kind of going everywhere okay let's try the mascara over top okay holy va va voom check out how long my lashes look they never look this long and to finish off the rest of the eyes, I'm just taking that first gold shadow and running it along the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna combine a little bit of this darker shade on the outer edges. 
And now to wrap everything up, I'm going to go ahead and apply some false lashes because I don't know if these eyes on their own are doing it for me. And that is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys liked how it turned out. Overall, I think the complexion, my lip, it's good. I think that that lip especially would look good on anybody. It's just a really nice red. Now as for the eyes... I don't know if I love them, and I think it's just because of the one tone that is throwing me off, and that is this one. I just don't like that it's really purple tone. Now, stuff that I loved, the mascara, I love the formula of this. I was kind of blown away by it. I think you guys need to try this. The liner, love. Gives you such a nice, crisp wing, and it's super easy to use. Oh, the gold liquid strobe, I really liked this. And I think it would look amazing too if you chose not to do foundation, but you still wanted a nice luminous look. Just applying this on your skin. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to check out my vlog channel. I will put a link right here. Click it. It will take you over to Life with Trina. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!